you're not investigating me. Everyone out of the mode in this movie. You're like, oh, come on, man. Throw that McMuffin out. Look at that. On a goddamn tray on a platter. On a tray and a platter, boy. I usually don't like to start. Or that's not that I don't like. It's just that I don't do it. It's very rare. I don't think I've ever done this before where I've started a review with the song. But oh, yeah. it seems very appropriate to do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right now. Fuck you, James Comey. Fuck you and your co- well, I think you get the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's he saying? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> yeah, he's talking about your man, James Comey over here, former director of the FBI. He's looking right now like, what? do why doesn't he like me that song is so mean did i do that <laughs> and yeah what did he do well as director of the fbi at the time he just couldn't let the hillary clinton email quote-unquote scandal go and a lot of people felt like with him once it was at a point where it seemed like it was done there was nothing to prosecute there was not even a real case there they said if it wasn't just her and i look i'm not talking from a pro hillary type person i'm just telling you from you know, the from their point of view, they looked at it and said, "Well, shit, if we want to go in and, and get her on this, we got to get everybody who this whole place is a security risk." <laughs> you right. know, it's, they they allowed it to happen. So, right. And the thing was, that it wasn't coming from a place of malice. And, it, and, and you know, and, 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 or, or or subterfuge. It was right. just like, okay, not everybody understands email right. and, and protocol and exactly. how all that exactly. works. Exactly. That's exactly no it. Intent. But some people they couldn't they couldn't let it go because they said, "Well, mm. you know what." No matter what, maybe you were doing your job because that's what he says. Well, I was just, I was just trying to do the right thing. I was just doing, I was just following a protocol of what we're supposed to do. They're like, yeah, but you kept bringing up that old shit, <laughs> and it cost her the election. He was, uh, he was always, uh, he's a great, he was a great leader. He was uh, very charismatic uh, and genuinely just very sweet to a lot of us. Uh, he was just in a tough position right now with tough decisions to make. Uh, after all, he did expose the interference, the Russian interference that was happening with the elections and a few yeah. things, a Russian hack. Yeah, a little late for that. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's a- too busy focusing on bullshit. Actually, okay. he yep. found out about this stuff going on during that and st- is like, oh, Russian? Oh, shit, yeah, but, oh, you read Hillary's email right <laughs> Ooh, that shit's juicy, ain't it? Yep. <laughs> you know, it's just... And that's the thing that people had a, lot of pro- a big problem with, you know? Yeah, Exactly. You know, the thing is, was he really just trying to be fair? Because he was handling a lot of stuff at the time. There's a lot of decisions to make. I got to do this and make it seem like the FBI is being reputable and doing their job. Also, these Russian, uh, this Russian interference. I mean, how much of that can we let out to the public at this moment? Because maybe we want to investigate this, and we just can't let everybody know at this time. Uh, you know, it, it, he was a guy that, like I said, was in a bad position if you ask the people around him. He said he was trying to be fair. Or... Did he only make matters worse when it was th- when he was there, or did things get much worse when he started working under the infamous Trump? Well, that's a given. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say, what was that yeah. question you asked? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> well, we know that. <laughs> you Corey Coleman <laughs> for saying that stupid <laughs> shit. Where you get a guitar from? <laughs> <laughs> Got my ass. Carry with me everywhere. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a take a look at the trailer. Yeah, they spend a couple of days in jail. Suddenly, they're ready to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. He's like, oh. <laughs> second episode is just him going, right? Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> you see where that camera zoomed in? This is a horror movie for him. Yeah. I mean, and it don't help that Trump looks like an actual creature right here. Oh God, like a goddamn hobgoblin. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those, uh, those, those splitting image puppets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like a goddamn hobgoblin. Look at him. He does. <laughs> He's the president. Am I supposed to refuse his call? <laughs> <laughs> that got me too, man. <laughs> In front of everybody. In front of everybody. Rich, bring your ass here. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I don't care how tall you are. Shit. James Comey went back in the next room and tried to put his shoulder yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. Like, like Mel Gibson. Like, yeah, 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 banging against the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. He's a dishonest guy. 
He's got people thinking I like golden showers. Boy, he's about to put a golden shower on him. He's, oh, yeah. he's about to beat his ass. <laughs> Let me show you what one is. <laughs> <laughs> Say something else, bitch. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> They put that horror movie angle on him and everything. Sure did. <laughs> Shit, this is a Blumhouse movie right here. <laughs> Blumhouse is Trump. <laughs> the way the lighting is. Yeah. You're not investigating me. <laughs> 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 Everyone's out of the mode in this movie. You're like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Throw that McMuffin out. Look at that. <laughs> on a goddamn tray on a platter. <laughs> on a tray and a platter, boy. <laughs> On a White House planet. But as ridiculous as that is, is everything we've heard. It's that no, it's true. Is yeah. It? The only, the only, the only lie about that is, there's only one on there. I mean, right. Yeah, that's right, the only right. thing. Yeah. You know, ain't like, a pile of them. It ain't no, ain't no hash browns. Yeah. Ain't no pile of them. Shit. <laughs> one my ass. Trump is the Trump is is the best commercial for McDonald's these days. That never bothered me before. What do you do with a movie like this? I mean, it could be, it could be an, a, 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 a best picture nominee. It could be an Oscar winner. And I can tell you, at this point in time, this is not so mind-blowingly good that it miraculously just makes people change their mind or whatever political stance they're having right now. Nah. You know, this is, if you do some sort of... Uh, researchable uh uh if you drop some researchable facts here some things that you know that that do exist that you might not have remembered for a while and need a refresher or maybe you didn't know even if you even if, even if you're not a trump supporter you know okay cool but i will say this uh balancing those two things it's not easy you know trying to make an entertaining movie and trying to also put something out there that gives the people some knowledge it's not an easy thing to balance. Me, this movie doesn't exactly find that balance either. There's some movies who can, uh, but this is not one. I keep saying movie, but this is more like two movies or one, you know, one long ass movie. Really want to uh, no, put it that way. Feels like <coughs> two movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's a couple of films. <clears throat> it's it's a, it's a two parter, and they're actually two pretty much uh, self contained films in a way. This 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 was pitched as the Trump movie. This is the one where actor Brendan yeah. Gleeson was going to come in and do his, his his greatest Trump impression. And this is going to win all kind of Oscars and get all kind of awards and whatnot. Uh, I'll say this. For anyone going in expecting to watch the Trump movie, uh, three hours of Brendan Gleeson doing a Trump Im impersonation, uh, you're not only just going to be sorely disappointed, you're going to be mad as <laughs> Because this... Pretty much, if you want to take it as one movie, this is a three and a half hour movie, and Trump don't show up for almost two hours. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If that's what if that is what you're looking for, I'm not judging the movie on that because I would tell you, it's not that the movie's wrong for doing that. No, nah, it's not called the the Trump rule. No, it is not. No, no. no. I mean, look, they marketed the. Out of it with Trump, <laughs> you know. Let's 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 not lie because they knew that that was going to be the selling point. So you know, I can understand some people being a little irritated. Man, this shit ain't what they promised me. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, actually the way they do it is a cool structure. Uh, as I said, it's split in two parts. Uh, the first part is the FBI and their investigation into the Hillary emails and how mishandling that along with the Russian interference into the, uh, into the hacking of uh, government files and emails and also the uh, interference with the uh, elections at the time. This is mostly uh, Comey's story, played by what's his name? Uh, Jeff Daniels. Jeff, Jeff Daniels, who looks. They didn't even try to make him nope. look like Comey. Yeah. They didn't dye his hair. No. They didn't do it. They didn't even try. So it's mostly his performance that they're trying well, to they get about. They dyed his hair, and they they gave him dark contacts. And I'm looking at Comey here, and doesn't really have yeah, dark yeah. eyes. Right. He should. He got thrill eyes on yeah. the street. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you look at this, you can almost you can almost watch this like an, uh, a, a a hero's origin story, you know. Uh, like here, uh, you get you get him when he's first being brought in to uh, the position of director of the FBI. You know, this is when he comes in. and He's appointed by Obama, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you get they even have a little uh, exposition and like do a quick rundown of what his personality is like. 
uh, you know, just like like I said, any kind of origin story where the hero or the, the, the protagonist comes into their position, this is what you got here. You've garnered a lot of attention for uh, taking on the mob as prosecutor and defending the DOJ in 04. I suppose that's true. Apparently, this is about Obama when he was 12. I know. I was like, I, was like I, I, I like this actor, I, I uh, King, great. Kingsley Ben, which is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingsley, Kingsley, Kingsley Ben. Kingsley Ben, I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I was like, I like this actor, and his Obama's decent, but he's way too young, especially for this point. In Obama's term, he was white-headed at this point. Exactly, right. yeah. Like any other president would be, but yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, this is like uh, Jim Henson's White House babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Obama in law school. It's like, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Obama's like, look, I'm flattered that y'all made me look <laughs> yeah. young, but goddamn, can y'all at least make me a man? <laughs> you know, no, the good, the, the, it's a handsome guy, and, I'm, and, and I've seen pictures of him, so I'm not saying he looks, you know, he looks like a boy or something, but right here, I'm Compared sorry. To Obama, he does. Yeah. He doesn't look like a second-term president right here, yeah, is what you're saying. You're right. Maybe the president of his high school class <laughs> or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, you know, I, it, I was just, I just looked at that. President was, of summer camp. Yeah. That was kind of, it's it kind of weird. I was like, all right, this guy, look, this, that, my man, his actor, Kingsley ben Adir, he's doing his best mm-hmm. impression and he's holding it down. That but voice was coming God, out. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get over that goddamn youthful look that they gave him. You need a lot of attention? Interest in politics down the line? None. Good. Well, off to prom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, if you could, now if you could just drive him back to my parents' house, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Sign hey, this for hey, my teacher. Hey, yeah. Pick up some beer for me on the way. I'm yeah, not, I, I don't have my ID. <laughs> By the way, you got a car? Yeah. <laughs> if, the, if if this is the hero's origin story right here, if they are if they are setting up the hero, then they spend that half of the of the movie or the series. Setting up the villain too, and the way they set up the villain here, because like I said, you don't see Trump for almost two hours here, but even though you don't see him, they build him up like he's the ultimate villain. They mm-hmm. talk about they they talk about him like he's Voldemort, or Thanos, because sure. he's they know whenever. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan was like, don't compare me to that bitch. I ain't, hey, I wasn't that bad. He's like, I come on now. <laughs> Shit, come yeah. on now. Yeah. Thanos is like, I actually got something done. Yeah. Man, you know? <laughs> Thanos is. I was indiscriminate about who yeah, I killed. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> Thanos said, I just destroyed half the universe. This motherfucker <laughs> trying to kill it all. <laughs> He's trying to kill all you motherfuckers. Don't compare me to him. He got a good campaign plan. Yeah. I only killed half the universe. Shit, I only killed half the universe. This motherfucker going for everybody. Yeah. You don't give a fuck. But they talk about because like Voldemort, Thanos. He's even though you don't see him, and it's early on in the movie, they're they're always talking about him like he's a threat. Mm-hmm. He's a presence in, in, in that, the background. Yeah. He's all, yeah, you know people. You know uh, uh, people. Even way before we see him, people are freaking out about him. You know people are talking about him like he's Thanos. Like he's coming. What do we do? You know they. <clears throat> You, do you really think he can he can do this? Does he have a chance? And they make you know they 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 are truly trying to make him a dark threat, and they do that several ways in the movie. It's interesting how they're setting this up in such a way to go like, you know, man, don't get mad at Comey. He was just doing his job and trying to and trying to do the right thing. And I was like, yeah, I I appreciate what you're saying, but I'm not getting sucked in because. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I that's man. You just took the words out of my mouth on that one. I mean, like when his daughter got mad, I was like, "That's what I'm talking about." <laughs> yeah, I. I'm, I mean, you know, it just and, I, and you said they, they do try to suck you in with that. At some point, they kind of go, "Well, yeah, maybe he should have done that," but then they go right back to acting like, "Well, he was just doing what he had to do," and I just don't agree. Yeah, with that. I think if if maybe he was doing what he was supposed to do, and I got it. I'm not look. I'm not going to go <clears throat> with this. Uh, this heroic brushstroke that they're putting on this guy, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I think they're really trying to put a patriotic spin on a lot of these people where they probably weren't like that. You sure, know, I, sure. I don't know, but I do. One, one of the things I can see here is that, all right, you know, this guy, if nothing else, he just made a really stupid move. Yep. I'm sorry. I just like yeah. I, I, I mean, look, I ain't the head of the FBI. I, don't, I can't say anything, but that was a stupid decision, and everybody kind of warned him. Everybody warned him about doing some of the things he did, which was not exactly investigating the Hillary emails, but when it was done, uh, there was something else that came up, and they 
and he felt like, well, we got to reopen this. And people like, it's past that. We're not going to find anything new. And they did it anyway, and guess what? They didn't find shit. And and all hell broke loose. Right, and but the, the, also the, the point, especially they keep making the uh, the FBI task meetings or the board meetings or whatever, <clears throat> they keep saying, well, was anything criminal? But if we do this now, this close to the election, yep. it's going to come out, it's going to bring things up, it's going to f- a lot of shit up. And then when it was time to do the Russia thing, it was too late for that. And remember the one girl goes, look, she's like on both sides. <laughs> she's like, look, I think Hillary, people think tell, tell her she's smart all the time. She thinks she's above this and that. She up, but I don't think it's criminal. But this, we shouldn't be doing this. And then, yeah, right. That was her point, and I, I, I kind of felt the and, same way. And it's, yeah. oh, go ahead. Well, I also felt like a bigger thing with this is it's that, it, I mean, like Scoop McNary is a character who's narrating this when it starts, and he talks about James Comey being a showboat and having to have, be, have the attention. But so much of this is about his own hubris because mm-hmm. it's yeah. so much about. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm thinking about this. If I do this, people will say this. Mm-hmm. And people will think yeah. this. And people will say this. And what the second half turns into, well, here's the other side of the coin. You were so worried about people saying this and people saying this. You've let in people who don't give a f- about what people say. And right. they're running all over the system. And they're running all over you. Because it seemed like that second episode is all about his <coughs> karma. Yeah. It's, it's, you know. It was a guy who was so worried about what people thought. And he and to a point where it you know, it was cool because he was he really was genuinely caring. He was nice to people. If you go by the character in the in the mm-hmm. in the movie. At worst, we're not getting a true and accurate picture of who this guy is. This is something where they're trying to actually go in and sugarcoat his image. Or he was very he he made a very incompetent decision. You yeah, it's like you you wonder, you ask yourself, is he, was he that naive or is he that self righteous? Probably it's a little like, bit of both. I mean, I mean, but I'm saying, but you know, the, yeah, it's the yeah. whole. Well, yeah, yeah. It sounds like it's both because even, even according to the movie, he's always constantly going like, "Well, I'm not a politician," and it's people going like, "Yeah, that's not good." <laughs> right. Whether you want to believe it or not, you are involved in politics. Right. Yep. And, and you yep. just made that move, which kind of <laughs> makes me think that you're full of shit. <laughs> and it, what, yeah. the funny thing is, is how at least from this first episode, they really try to build him up and, like you say, sugarcoat it, make him look mm-hmm. the hero. Yeah, I think he still comes off bad, so I can only imagine well, like, what it's like in yeah. real life. Because you know, at least, I mean, at, at, look, at best, you just come off at least in that one particular situation, you come off stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just, and, and they, and that's something that they confront in the film too. They do say that there is just no winning at this point, right? Which, again, I don't know how much of that is in the movie to make it seem like he was up against the wall. I don't know, you know. This, you, you, I do know that there are some factual things in here, and that's where I would get into like this first half because in the first half, I think it would be great because we're talking about a lot of important stuff in that first half. Mm-hmm. You just heard in this discussion, but. I just think that the the first half, I think it would all be better. It would all be great if the first half wasn't as long. For me, that's for me. It wasn't as long as it, as it is. You know, the FBI plays a big role here, so we have to know the FBI organization. We have to know the players within the FBI and people that he's uh, working with, the people that are working under him. Uh, the Russian, the Russian hacks and the Russian interference. That is something that definitely needed to be talked about because. I mean, it's infuriating because, listen, you can go back, and I'm not going to politicize this. I'm just talking about with the movie and why it's important you see this. I don't care what political side you stand on. There are things that you can go back and see as fact where uh, the interference uh, came from hacks. They were trying to influence the election. Trump had business deals. With, with a lot of people forget that that he had you know he was trying to get a tower built, <laughs> yeah, in Moscow. in Moscow, in Moscow, and he had business dealings for you know uh, for somebody who said I've never had any kind of business dealings with Russia. He did, you know. So this stuff can go back and be traced and uh, can be researched, and it's you know it's, it's 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 it is what it is. It's there again, whether you're convinced of it or not. It's is there. So, you know, that's good that they bring that up. That has to be uh, talked about. It's infuriating to see that people. You know uh, uh, that you know this out there. You're reminded of this. It's infuriating to be reminded of because you see you see people out there who uh, uh, who just deny this, and it's right there. There's people out there that you know just no 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 matter what you know the proof is there. And Russia got caught doing it, mm-hmm. and people still out there. But yeah, Trump likes them. You know. Yeah. God bless America, you know, but yeah, why we're getting fucked by, there's even a point in the movie where there's a couple of Russians, they stop in the, in the movie, and they're confused, they're like, God damn, that was easier than we thought. <laughs> right? right? We <laughs> well, just, we gotta keep on. Well, I'm just saying the movie does do a good job, as infuriating as it is, is to show you how the, the hypocrisy's baked in, 
like it's there. Like there's nothing that's gonna like. That's why you say like they were like, how did we, did we able to? The person's like, are you sure about this blood demeter? <laughs> okay, yeah, we are. All right, you know, but it's because it's it's, it's baked. It doesn't matter what they do. It's uh, your Trump support. That's it. It's what's gonna happen. So yeah, it was funny because the Russians they it got so crazy and got so easy that they just start putting out crazy shit like Hillary Clinton's a vampire. Right, <laughs> so, you right, know, it was like right, it was... Right. It I knew was it. The, the, yeah. The pedophile pizza ring. Yeah, the pe- the pe- yeah, they, yeah. they were just doing silly shit. They're like, well, shit, let's just see how far we can take it and how much they'll buy it. Uh, none of it's new. Like I said, it's not going to change anybody's mind. Had it been like a 40, 45 minute section, you know, like a nice Netflix episode. That would have been perfect. I thought that would have been better. I thought it would have flowed better. I thought, because it was a little tedious after a while. And there's some shit in there that they don't really need. I'll talk about that in a little while, at least in my opinion. I'm thinking mostly about pacing. I just thought, like, all right, you know, a lot of people be looking at this. They're going to be like, well, okay, where the f is Trump at? And so those people are going to be. Yeah. They're gonna be. They're gonna be kind of getting bored. Hold I'm looking on. at. I'm like, well, this is important. And some of this I know, and some of I don't. That's cool, but it, this could be sped up a little bit. Uh, but I tell you this: when Trump does come on, I, and I, I hate to give, I hate to give Trump any kind of compliment, even fake Trump. I don't even want to give this. Right, I don't right, even want right, to give right. this image here a compliment. But it does get better. It takes a little while to get used to. Uh, Brendan Gleeson. To get used to Brendan Gleeson, man, because when he comes on, he's doing he's doing some weird like we were talking about that before the yeah, show started. Yeah. It takes some it takes some getting used to because yeah, we would look we would look at the trailer. <laughs> he looks like somebody put a Trump wig on a bulldog. Yeah. 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 What are you saying? A hobgoblin? You look like a hobgoblin, man. <laughs> He, I mean, it takes some getting used to because it, I mean, it don't, it don't look like Trump, and, and at first it sounds like Trump, but it sounds like an impersonation of Trump. Yeah. It feels like an impersonation, and it's like they're exaggerating the things that we know about Trump. Uh, there's a lot of sniffing and a lot of teeth, and a lot of and a lot of hissing like a snake. Yeah. This administration created ISIS by leaving at the wrong time. You, what? Oh man, he really he played that up. Yeah, he's like, he's like, what a lot of coke he just did. Yeah, his head, it looked like somebody just fisting his ass because he's the whole time he's just just talking with his head turning and shit and a showing him, to the right, showing them teeth the whole time. And it's like, all right, man, and don't and it don't help that they put the camera right up, extreme right up in his face, close up, yeah. right up in his yeah, extreme close, yeah, extreme yeah. close up, right up in his face. Yeah, the camera's resting on his lip. Yeah, <laughs> that's a well, he's putting it out there. That bottom lip is practically his shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Put the tripod on that shit. Uh, but when he has to interact with other actors, that's when I thought that he toned it down. And at that moment, he really did start to embody Trump. Play, goddammit. Play, shit. Play. Y'all see me, pr- y'all, y'all see me press the guy. Trump, even Trump. You see this? Yeah, I'm just talking about it. You see, I'm, I'm sitting up here pressing play. <laughs> Even Trump got me. Yeah. I knew it. I told you to talk about me, goddammit. <laughs> Call me a hot goblin, huh? Yeah. Y'all see me pressing yeah, this Russia shit. Russia got this. your shit. Look at that. <laughs> goddammit, Russians. Wait. <laughs> Interference. You gotta show your loyalty, Corey. Yeah, yeah, I know. Your honest loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hacked by the Kremlin. Shit. <laughs> Russia got me. Nobody gets treated. As unfairly as I do. But I wanted to know what you were thinking about it. Boy, he is looking for the exit. I know. He, he, he like, just like showed no expression whatsoever. Right. He's like, I guess along with everybody, he's like, ooh, I wish I could say something right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Relax all facial muscles. He's like, mm-hmm. yeah, don't make any sudden moves. Mm-hmm. Right now. One thing I never had to think about in the Trump organization, because I did so much myself, you know, people think we were so big, but truth is, I did everything. He's like, this I, mother- I, really? He's like, he's like, yeah, like, I'm, like, he wants to, f- like, he's yeah, trying to impress yeah. me. He's like, I did everything. He's like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. no they, they, they really do bring in the, the, the very narcissistic side of him. Like, he just meanders uh, Trump's conversations. And, oh, yeah. And they, they come back. But they come back to him mm-hmm. all the time about how he's decorated the the, the Oval Office so right. well. You know how he how, how <laughs> like everybody's how yeah everybody's successful because of of of, of his uh, involvement in everything around him. I expect loyalty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Damn, fair to you. 
<laughs> I know about that. <laughs> oh, shit. He's still talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. You better be quiet. Tell you, you're going to get your <laughs> I have to expect him to, to lick the blood off of a, of a, of a razor like a, like, like a dragon. I'm like, God damn. Ugh. Yeah, man. When he said that loyalty part, that's when I was like, oh, yeah. God. You know, yeah. there's, even a, there's even a part where they make the... And I'm not lying. I wish I had a clip of it. They, they make the White House look like Dracula's castle. That shit's they in, do. Shit's in the <laughs> nighttime. Yeah. Sliding up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You expect at the end of that speech <laughs> to, to 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 hear. <laughs> 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 what was that? Don't worry about it. Is Brendan Gleeson good? Yes. Yes, he is. I, I think he's good and he, he's doing a fine job. Uh and there are moments I did just lose myself into his version of Trump. I never fully bought into the version though. I don't know if it's because again, uh he's just laying certain mannerisms on thick. Uh, but mainly because in the second half, you know, there's a there's a lot of things where this this version of Trump can speak for himself. You know, the shit Trump, the real person, can speak for himself. Uh, you know, but they go out here and they try. They really do try to make Trump look like like a, a, a like a monster, like a creature. Like he's walking through the like, like you know they, like like he's walking through the goddamn uh, uh, halls of uh, of the White House in the shadows and shit like a ghoul. <laughs> You know, it's I, I, you know it's fine because they do a good job of showing his delusional side, but sometimes they want to put him in these ominous shadows, and it just seems like all right, that's you know my taste and things. I don't think if 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 the situation of the character speaks for themselves, I don't think you need to add on anything beyond that, uh, and putting him in all these shadows to make him look more ominous, to make him look scarier, to make him look more threatening. Uh, I don't think they needed to do that. You know, your problem is your wife. She lost her election in Virginia, didn't she? This crowd feels to be a loser. Hey, bitch, f- you, <laughs> motherfucker, click. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> say that to my goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way, goddamn. <laughs> Wow. That is one of the lightest scenes that they do. They have scenes where he actually is in the darkness and he's nothing but a silhouette. And I thought he laid it on kind of heavy right there. But uh, I also thought that the series, it was bookended in a weird way. Um, you also have uh, the uh, district, att- uh, uh, what is this, uh, the DAG, or the district attorney general, uh, district assistant general, whatever, uh, played by one of my one of the actors that I really love, Scoop, Mac, uh, Scoop McNary. Yeah. Uh, you know, and... He uh, he plays uh, Rod Rosenstein, and he, I like how they you know he's important because he, they show how he was. If you weren't a, if you didn't if you just did not like Comey at all, you, you thought he was just a you know just complete asshole. Uh, Rosenstein or Rosenstein, uh, he Rose. they they he was he he was they you know they put them in a contrast almost because he was just real petty like he. At one time, you, you know, depending on what day it was, he'll talk real nice about Comey. But when yeah. it got down to it, it's like, because at first they make it seem like he really admires him. But the more they go on with his story, it's like, oh, shit, you can tell this guy is just a petty little bitch. He just, he did not, he was jealous, very envious of Comey. Uh, they book in the movie with uh, Scoop McNary as Rod Rosenstein. But I thought, was it really that necessary for something that's three and a half hours long? Uh I don't think they could. They, it was absolutely needed to do that. You could have had the character in there. You know, my, most of my problems with this are just trying to sell the message too hard and the pacing of it. Uh, and then some of the direction here, some of the stuff that y'all probably didn't see. Uh, there was some. Uh, there, w- there was just some bad moments here, some TV <clears throat> movie moments in here. Uh, let me see. Uh, they have like there's there's this one scene here. Mm, let me find it because I've got to bring these up. Oh, there we go. So they have these moments where uh, James Comey's wife and their kids they they every now and then they run to people and they hear them saying uh, bad things about James Comey and it just seems real. It just seems too convenient. Mm. Like they're about to go to a woman's rights rally or a woman's rally and. Uh, and right before they get there, there's a, you know, I'm telling I shit you not, this is how it plays out. They're like, oh, mom, we almost had the first one president. We were almost there. Yeah, I know, honey. 
James Comey, and they walk off, and she's like, oh, you know, James yeah. Comey's wife is just like, oh. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. But, but I'm behind you. We were so close. A woman president got so close. I know, baby, I know. James Comey. Ah. You know, let's go back. <laughs> it was like, but that woman wasn't thought he was going to do. We'll walk up there and say, like, you know, get your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also, but also it's like, with the, the two ladies in front of him, like, you sure they heard us? Yeah. It's like, like, okay, yeah. action. It's like nobody talks like they don't do that. No, they they, they don't. It's That's like what I'm James like. Comey. Like who stand? Like do you see the it's, the? it's the delivery of it. It's like it feels like two actors. Yeah, you know, hitting their cues. It's like say your lines. Yeah, James Comey, walk, walk. Right, walk, right. Walk. But in real life, the daughter that age would have been. She's like, James going. Who the hell's James Comey, mom? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. We were so close. A woman president got so close. I know, baby. I know. James Comey. Ah, uh, you know, maybe we shouldn't today. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a, there's a white nationalist <laughs> ride right down the street. <laughs> uh, as I said, uh, oh, why do I keep forgetting his name? Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels, I thought was very good. Now, was he doing James Comey? I can't tell you that, but he was very good in the role. As far as what they were trying to, uh, he's somewhere portray. between Comey and his character from uh, the network or something. The, yeah, the, the news, the, the, the newsroom, the newsroom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, he was good. He was good. <laughs> Certainly, in every wide shot, remember to remember that he was six eight. <laughs> Jeff, that James Comey's oh, that's that right. tall. Yeah, because yeah. they had him just towering, towering over, over everybody. everybody. Yeah. Do y'all feel comfortable giving a rating, or do you just want to? Uh, I kind of don't not see in the second yeah, part. I, I, I need to just watch more for me to actually rate this. Okay. Uh, I mean, with the, I, I will say with the with the first part, uh, you know, a lot of things you bring up are true uh, flaws. I didn't have so much of a pacing issue. You are watching almost a four hour movie. Uh, when it comes down to it. it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like something that deserves four hours. It really does not, man. And like I said, it does. It pushes where it doesn't need to push. A lot of this stuff, there's no, you don't have to over uh, drama, uh, dramatic, dramatize this uh, to make people look scarier than they do. A lot of times, just showing these people how they look uh, is more frightening uh, than putting them in dark shadows. You know, ominous music always playing. You know, she's trying to make, as I said, hobgoblins and ghouls out of people. You know, it's. Oh, but that makes it fun. It does. No, it's funny, you know, but. Well, I mean, some of it, I think, was done for comic effect. Yeah, it could be. Like them, the whole when they're eating the first time, mm -hmm. and he's slurping, and he's slurping, and, and yeah, doing all yeah, that, yeah, and all gross, and yeah. that was definitely done for comic effect, comedic effect. Like yeah, I, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> it, it is a good, frustrating <laughs> reminder of how serious things are, but at the same time, people kind of have. Their heels kind of planted on what they want to do, so I, you know, I don't know. It's, <laughs> That's why it's, you say it that way. But again, then again, tomorrow morning will be a frustrating reminder of how things yep, are. Yep. Don't <laughs> need this reminder. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. <laughs> it's it's, and I might have gone at like for a low matinee had it not been for some of the straight up just badly directed parts in this. Uh, it's a it's a high rental. James Comey's like Batman, where you like. <laughs> Man, are you gonna kill the Joker or what? He's like, nope, right. nope. I don't kill. That'd be the wrong thing to yeah. do. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but you not doing that. He's killing all these other people. You don't, you don't see that. Well, I have yeah. to stick by my principles. Uh, yeah, <sighs> it's okay. The, keep in mind, at the same time, it was not when he was in it. Trump, Trump was so. At least if you go by this move, but we see it in real life. And we always hear this. Trump gets by by putting people in his pocket, demanding loyalty, and that's how he. And that's you know that's what he does. Uh, a lot of people in the early, early on, even in, in the FBI, I mean, everybody, everybody, most people thought, like, there's no way that this guy's going to win. And, you know, I, it, it's, it, I, it, everybody had a, had a big wake-up call during that time. So, you know, what they were doing before, it, the movie, I think, does a good job of showing you, like, you can see how some of these decisions, as dumb as they were, were being made because no one was really thinking that this would happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. People, I mean, they had people in the FBI just crying their ass off. Yeah. Dudes over there. <laughs> he was like, you okay? <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> fine. <laughs> and, one, and one girl wanted to slap know, his face. Uh, oh, <laughs> did you really just ask me that goddamn question? <laughs> Am I okay? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. No, there was Fuck a moment. You. Yeah, there was yeah. a moment that James Comey tried to come in and pull that Mister Rogers kind uncle shit. You know, one girl was crying. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, "Are you okay?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm all right." You can see when she when he was walking away. She's like, oh, 
you. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think the problem could be? <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, ignorant acting, my Are you okay? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought she was going to start choking the shit out of him when he said that. It's probably then people just jump on his hand and start beating the shit out of him when he walks <laughs> yeah. in. There he is! Yeah. Throw him a blanket party when he comes in. Get him! <laughs> Come here, Comey! <laughs> like a full metal jacket, throw yeah. a blanket over his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just me. <laughs> well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, guys. Oh.